In this tutorial I'm just going to quickly show you that you can use the custom shapes from uh, Graphic Extras as well as uh, any other custom shapes in the new 3D features in Photoshop CS6. Uh, there's also uh, CS5 extended as well that can use the custom shapes but there's been quite a few changes since uh, CS5. Now I'm just going to go and select the custom shape tool and then notice the option you want is shape that's the one you want you don't want to use the pixels but you want to use shape and I'm just going to apply it with the uh, current color of black and here's some shapes here they're from graphic extras you'll be able to find them on the uh, Photoshop shapes collection page uh, they're a sample set so uh, I'm just going to select one of them I'm just going to select that uh, J letter so I'm just going to now quickly draw this out, it's a vector shape layer. Now I'm just going to go over there and now to 3D, new 3D extrusion from selected layer. And as soon as you do that, a few seconds anyway, you get a 3D effect for the design which you can now rotate and turn around. You can see the, there's a 3D. Now any custom shape can be turned into a, a 3D object, very quick and easy. And well, that's the first stage. Next stage is to go to the there, and you've got a whole heap of selection of properties here. You've got shape presets. Now, of course, this is only just a quick survey of some of the 3D features so obviously I'm not just going to go through all the various features I've selected the front face there um, not 3D experts I won't say that uh, every single feature is immediately obvious 3D you can rotate it move around there's various scaling I'm just going to quickly rotate the object You can zoom in and zoom out. Now, right, I've done that, and I'm just going to go, I wanted to say, like, deform the shape. So I could just go with this straight basic shape. But actually, I'll, initially, I'll just show you the extrude depth. And actually increase that, so you can just see that there's actually it's a bit bigger. It's stretching off into the distance. I'll reduce that down again. Something slightly <laughs> temperamental in terms of the numbers it creates are very, very great. So it's actually probably easy just to enter a value in the, uh, the box instead of using the uh, controls sometimes. Right, so once you've done that, you can go to these controls over here. And there's a deform section. So again, you've got the uh, depth again. You can increase that. You can also use the uh, tools actually on the object itself but uh, I personally I prefer to uh, play around with the, the settings over here I can actually manipulate them slightly easier so you can twist the object of course you've got some presets as well so you don't have to start off with uh, but uh, this is just you can twist the object taper the object and just comes out like that shear horizontal angle so you can so you can distort the object in vast numbers of ways. There's other options here, cap and coordinates. Right, so once you've done that, and you've done the sort of basic thing, you can actually now go to the... If you actually click on the side, you actually can uh, then get the materials pop up, properties and materials. So I'm just going to quickly uh, now just say change the colour. So I'm just going to show that. Okay, so you can actually now see the designs. There is actually there are actually some presets. There's a whole selection of presets. You can get some more presets on the web. So I'm just going to select one preset here, and it'll take a few seconds to go around, and it creates that. Now, once you've done all that, you can change the opacity as well as the bump map and all those sort of things. Many different settings here via the 3D palette. Now, 3D, you can render that image. So it will actually just Render and make obviously a slightly better than uh, I don't want to do that at this point. First, really, the one thing I want to do quite often I actually create shapes and then I 
want to actually export them to another application. So export 3D layer and you can save them to uh, a DAE format, Flash 3D format, Google Earth, U32 and Wavefront object file. Now quite often I do object file um, and then because I use uh, Carrara uh, 3D application from DAS and uh, so I can uh, then use those object files in that or use them in Poser which is another uh, was a product from uh, Smith Micro that's quite useful for creating uh, shapes and designs for, for that props so uh, I'll just cancel that so basically it's a very basic uh, showing how to use the things and many other options for 3D designs that you can uh, and you can use with the, with the shapes